Today on Strange Places, a once proud Buddhist temple teeming with life is shut down for unknown reasons. And now this one-of-a-kind abandoned temple sits in obscurity, neglected by its former owners. But despite its vacancy, the temple is still standing and in wonderful condition. It is filled with many items from its past. What the hell is this? Guys, we just found this one, one banner with swastikas all over it. So come along with Max and Dan as we explore this temple in its entirety. And we will discover the secrets that lie within. All this and more on this episode of Strange Place. Hello, and welcome to Strange Places, where we go places that most people wouldn't dare to venture. Now I'm your host, Max Power. Today on Strange Places, we will be visiting this amazing abandoned Buddhist temple in the middle of the city with full power and everything left behind. Please go out there right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, it really helps me out a lot, and here's the best part, you'll be able to see Strange Place videos, the moment they come out, just go down there right now, and we'll take you for 5 seconds. Now we take you to the abandoned Buddhist temple on Strange Places. Like, walk around and see if anyone's actually in here. I've been here once before, just for a quick, quick look around. And this place has full power too. A lot of cool stuff in here, this is going to be a fun explore. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go upstairs to like the, the temple area and then we're gonna work our way down and we're gonna check out some of this cool stuff. This was the worship area of the temple. From a set of photos we found in the basement, you can see what this area looked like before the structure became abandoned. While most of the items in this room appear to have been removed, the center stage was mostly intact. And these giant lamps were also left behind. The lamps, chandeliers, and other pieces of the stage were intricately constructed and colored. The woodwork was complex, with symbols and people carved into the sides. Oh, got all the lights turned on. Interestingly, a little bit similar to what you would find in a Catholic or Christian church. You know, you have you have the the main room. You have the altar. Everything's symmetrical. You have columns of some sort. Wood finishing. There's a whole bunch of decorations on the windows. Here they don't have stained glass windows, of course. They have these, but they have these clear windows with these uh, interesting symbols on them. Right here, instead of the Christian cross, there would be the Buddha. I think the Buddha would just be chilling here. He'd be sitting here trying to achieve enlightenment, trying to reach nirvana, which is like some sort of heaven or some sort of enlightened state. It'd be some sort of symbol or something right here. Some sort of ornament used to be here. Guys, I am back here with none other than Dan Lee. What's up, guys? Check out his channel. The link, of course, is going to be in the description. And today we're just checking out the, the lower level of the Buddhist temple. And there's some interesting stuff here. Let's see what we can find. So in this room, we found some very interesting stuff. We found religious relics here. This looks like a horse from like a chess piece or something. A lot of posters. This must be like the Pope of Buddhism. This guy is this guy the, like the Dalai Lama? No idea. Wow, look at all these. The interior of this temple is in sharp contrast to anything I've seen in the U.S. It was as if we were in a temple in Vietnam, experiencing a completely different culture. Everything looked like it had come straight out of Southeast Asia. There were no signs of American influence. And some dolls that used to be in a display case. So I don't know, they could have been planning to move this, but I haven't been here in a month and everything is still like it was. Maybe they're trying to, to move to a different location and then and for some reason they decided not to or they ran out of money for the other church or something and just left this place, just left it alone. Inside is in perfectly good condition, but outside the place is falling apart. So this place hasn't been really 
place has been neglected for like a few years. You think there are some sacred texts in here, dude? Um, that ass, there's some weird stuff behind the uh, glass case. What the hell is this? We gotta figure out what's in this display case. Guys, no, I thought there'd be like sacred texts in here and stuff like that. Just a whole bunch of posters. I don't know why they were behind glass. This place used to be decked out in paintings. Also in this room were boxes of books that hadn't been used. This is interesting. I don't know what language this is. Vietnamese maybe? I think it's from Viet, I think this is Viet uh, Vietnamese, I think the language. Right. So guys, I was somewhat right. It was, uh, it was Vietnamese. I'm, I'm looking at this book and it says, Fat Giao Vietnam, probably butchered that. Really? So we know it's been confirmed. It has been confirmed that this is indeed a Buddhist temple. Dan actually found a, a poster. It says something about a Buddha. It pretty much proves that it is a Buddhist temple. Incense. Anything cool in here? A lot of new books. Isn't it? Here's a, uh, here's something interesting. Guys, we just found this one one banner with swastikas all over it. Before you get offended and go to your nearest Buddhist temple and burn it to the ground because they support Nazism, it's actually, uh, it means something completely different. It was like a sign of peace for the Hindus, I believe, and it's probably something similar for the Buddhists. It's like a, it's like a sign of peace, you know, and it's an ancient symbol. This symbol was around for like thousands of years, way before the Nazis uh, used it for their own yeah, uh, the symbol. Yeah, first. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's a Pokemon ball. This isn't a Buddhist temple. It's clearly a, a Pokemon training academy. Yeah, it's a Pokemon gym. Yeah. yeah. Moving out of the room near the front entrance, we found a table covered in miscellaneous items, including old, outdated phones and more religious artifacts. As we continued our advance deeper into the temple, we found multiple bedrooms. Jammed into the center of the temple was this very small bedroom that slept two people. Someone slept up there. This is one of the rooms that the monks, I believe, or priests, or I have no idea what they are. They slept in here. Oh, let's look at this magazine. Maybe maybe it has a date. First, 2017. Yeah, and they left all their stuff here. Then it was time to finally check out the basement. Oh, cool. It's power downstairs, too. And this is where we found the photos that allowed us to envision what the place used to look like. This is what it looked like before it was abandoned. Look at that's the outside. Oh, that's cool. I always love seeing what they look like. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also check out my man Dan Lee, link is going to be in the description. I'm your host Max Power, see you next time on stream.